Hi, and welcome to the support series videos from Vectra. In this series, engineers will go through some of the common requests we see from customers and how to resolve them. Please be sure to subscribe and check back for new videos in the series. Good day, my name is Nikhil and I am technical support engineer at Vectra. Today we are going to discuss on topic of sending syslog notifications to Kafka broker. Uh, this topic has uh, the information on the topic is also listed on Vectra support portal uh, sending syslog to Kafka. Let's see. Yep. For this uh, video, I have installed a Vector Brain on the VHE and I have also installed a Kafka cluster. Uh, right now, this there is no topic listed on the Kafka server. Let's start. Uh, by adding Kafka on Brain to send the syslog server. For that, we have to go to settings page and then notifications. Uh, we have to add Kafka server, enable, and destination is 192.168.53.204. This is a temporary lab start for the Kafka the my port number in my case is 9092 uh, I'm using a simple TCP uh, but in production you can install the SSL as well uh, are three options CEF standard and JSON uh, I will start with uh, I will start with the standard one and right now the authentication I'm setting as none and uh, everything is selected all lock type or you can in case, your case you can select a specific lock type a uh, unique topic name for each lock type uh, there is one option another option is the common topic name for the lock types uh, let's start with the common lock common topic name for the lock types first uh, I am setting up extra test zero one, and in my case, I'm selecting everything, and I am clicking on save. Up. Uh, Upon saving uh, at the back end, there are some services are being restarted, so it may take a few minutes uh, to confirm. Once confirmed, you'll get notification of Kafka configuration saved. Uh, even though after notification, we should wait for some time and uh, oh, it's failed so. If it failed, that means we have to wait for some more time. Uh, probably the service has not started yet. Uh, I'm pausing the video for next two, three seconds, then we'll resume. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, if we have any topic shown here. So let's run the test again.
edit the configuration and uh, here we will uh, add for unique topic name for each log type and uh, format is standard that doesn't make any difference uh, if you choose a standard or json uh, from here uh, any from the consumer point of view you have to check uh, what parsing method you are using so after selecting the unique topic name for each log type i am clicking on save it again may take few minutes to save because it has to restart service at the back end uh, so i will be really patient here and uh, i am pausing the record i will not pause the recording uh, let's see yeah we got the kafka configuration saved still we have to wait for next two three minutes for it to uh, complete the restart of service at the back end i will just wait for, i will wait for two minutes and uh, then once after two minutes i'll resume okay two minutes has passed and i'm resuming the recording let's uh, run the test and see what happens uh, i would probably wait for a few more minutes okay i waited to for two more minutes and now i'm going to run the test let's see how it goes still waiting for the result and this time the test is successful now let's go to the kafka side and see if we can see any difference uh, now we can see the topic name uh, different topic names uh, this one we created and these are the topic name created by the test result okay so let's see if we can see anything in the topic um, yes we can see uh, message uh, so that was the part of the test uh, in case if we want to disable it we have to again go to the edit uh, disable and click on save uh, once you disable uh, please if you want to keep enable the configuration later please keep a copy of this because once you disable it so i am disabling it uh, once you disable it all the configuration will go away uh, so disabled and saved uh, that could be the result of uh, back in process restart so we'll wait and see what happens okay i'm trying again after two minutes so let's hope this time the configuration will be saved uh, it takes time uh, specifically for the kafka uh, syslog notification uh, because at the back end we have a service which uh, is being started okay this is done uh, kafka configuration is saved now it's disabled thank you for watching the video have a nice day ahead thank you